and welcome back. In the last video, we discussed about the area for quadrilaterals and in that we had taken all the four different kinds of quadrilaterals as rectangle, square, parallelogram and trapezoid. In this video, we would be talking about the area of the, uh, area of the triangles and start discussing that. First, let's recall what was the area of the parallelogram. So the area of the parallelogram, as we discussed, is it's the base, the base multiplied by the altitude. Let me just write here it as parallelogram A, B, C, B. D with the altitude as AM, consider this as 90 degrees straight. So the area of this parallelogram ABCD is AM multiplied by CD. Now let's come to the triangle. If you see here, let's recall it or let's call it as triangle ADC. If you see the triangle ADC, if I have to find the area of this triangle ADC, can I replicate one more triangle here like this? This is the triangle ADC, call it triangle 1. And this is another triangle ACB which is congruent to triangle A. DC or having the same area as triangle ADC it just flipped around. Let's call it the second triangle. If I keep them side by side, it makes me a parallelogram. So if I have to find the area of this triangle ADC of triangle ABC, can I say that it would be the half of AM cross CD? The logic is simple. This area is equal to ADC plus ABC. Now as ADC and ABC are two equal area triangles, I've just flipped around it and joined them together. The area for triangle ADC will become as AM cross CD by 2. So then I can form a formula here saying that for any given triangle ADC, if AM is an altitude of the triangle ADC, then it's that altitude or we say the length into the breadth by 2. So the area of triangle ADC is given by the length of the altitude cross the bread that is the base half length into base so this formula will help us to find the area for all the different kinds of triangles let most let us move to the next one to find the area of the circles now you can see here that there is a circle with a radius r and the circumference as C. Now if I divide this circles into 16 part and keep this parts side by side, you can see I can make this pattern. Let's call this like, like 1, 2 and so around. If I count them, it will come to, I have divided it into 16 parts. So there are 16 parts and I'm just keeping them side by side. 1, 2, 3, 4, all the way to 16. So if I keep them side by side, it will generate me a pattern more or like more or less like a parallelogram. If you see that this is again a parallelogram. Now for a parallelogram, we know what is the area for a parallelogram, for the area for a parallelogram, let's call we'll give it a name right now here, it's A, B, C and D. So the area for this parallelogram will become this length if 
the area will become this length which is the radius so this length let's call it as m m p so the area for the parallelogram a b c d will become m p multiplied by this whole d c so basically the height multiplied by the base now m p if you see here what is m p if you recall this this is just one part of the circle if you if you draw one more line from here till here this will become what it will become a radius for the circle so this this actually i can say is the radius of the circle radius multiplied by dc now what is dc if you see dc and ab they both are same and they both represent the circumference of the circle together so can i say that i'll again repeat if you see this a this ab and if you measure the dc ab plus dc i'll write here ab plus dc is equal to the circumference of the circle or you can say that 2ab or 2dc because ab and dc are same will become the circumference of the circle or you can say that dc is circumference of the circle divided by 2 so i can say here that it is radius multiplied by c by 2 is the area for this parallelogram abcd and in turn for this circle with the center r or uh, with the center let's call it as m so what is c here what is the uh, formula for the circumference circumference is circumference is given by <coughs> circumference is given by 2 pi r so r multiplied by 2 pi r by 2 so the area of the circle is pi r square so area of the circle is its radius r multiplied square times 2 times multiplied by the constant pi that is 3.14 for the calculation and that would give me the area for any circle let's say here r or here the small r or the big r you can represent it by any constant is 5 centimeter then this would become 25 pi we'll take up the different kinds of sums in the next class thank you for now i hope you have enjoyed this session